Welcome to the beauty of Da Nang. We are going on a journey to Sancha Mountain on the northern peninsula of Da Nang. First of all, it's one of the most beautiful places in middle Vietnam. The nature is mesmerizing and the view over Da Nang is just stunning. Furthermore, the author, the Austrian author Clemens Arvai wrote in his book The Biophia Effect how healthy it is to walk in the nature. Especially trees are very beneficial because they produce terpenes. And when you walk one day in the forest and breathe in all those terpenes, the amount of killer cells in your blood is increased by 40% and the positive effects last for up to one month. Scientists in Tokyo found out that people who live near forests have less incidences of cancer and the book describes many more advantages, for example psychological advantages like um, you calm down and much more. So just one walk in Sancha per month can be life-changing. But it's also very dangerous, so please keep it in mind. The way is very long, um, it can be very hot, on cloudless days the sun is hazardous and gruesome and can be very dangerous. And uh, the, the peak is 650 meters high. Many sources say 850 meters, but I think the Google terrain map is correct with 650 meters. That's very high. So you need to be healthy, you need to be more or less in shape and you need to be well equipped. So let's take a look at my equipment. I have a, a special hiking trouser. It dries very fast, it's comfortable to walk in it and when it's less sunny I can detach the sleeves, so it's very comfortable. Um, I usually suggest to take something long, so don't go with short sleeves and uh, short trousers. I think that's really not good because of the sun, so take something longer. Yes, it's hotter, then you drink more and then it's okay. Here my shirt from the same company. Um, the sleeves are also detachable. That's breathing, uh, air can come in and out. So I feel comfortable walking it, it long ways. Um, then my sunglasses. Uh, of course with UV protection and um, these are polarizing sunglasses. That means that it filters out some of the waves. Um, perhaps as a photographer you might, might know the polarization filter. It filters out uh, reflections and haze. When you look at nature phot phot photographs, then you see in the distance, you don't see the trees are green, but you see a huge layer of haze and these sunglasses filter it out. So the nature looks much more beautiful. The, the green leaves are much more vivid. So you enjoy the nature much more with a polarizing uh, sunglasses. Then I have my, my hat. It's a special walking or safari hat. So this uh, sun protection is a little bit longer. And on the sides and on the back, I have this long protection. And I look extremely stupid in it, but for walking, I really don't want to miss it. I have a first aid kit um, with flasters, with a whistle, with some basic help. Hopefully I don't need it, but if I need it, of course it's better to have it. Then my tablet and phone uh, with GPS map and um, I can take photos. And in case of emergency, I can call a taxi or I can call help. So very important. Five liters of water. I have the special foldable bag for water. Uh, it's empty quite quickly on sunny days. So I bought another one with 10 liters that will arrive soon. And also I bought um, two smaller foldable bottles that I can attach to my backpack. It's a special walking backpack that it's comfortable to wear. And here I have this the slopes where I can attach two 
bottles and I can always fill from the big bottle to the small bottles. If you use normal bottles, then I really like this strap here. You can attach normal bottles to it and then you just attach it here and it's always near you whenever you want to drink. Then uh, I add to the water a pinch of salt because uh, of the min mineral replenishment, the electrolyte replenishment, you really need it. When you sweat a lot, you just can't drink five liters of pure water. You really need it uh, to dilute salt in it. And also I have uh, calcium and magnesium as a replenishment. Okay, that's my equipment. We are ready to go. Hello, good morning. It's four o'clock and our journey starts. The weather forecast is awful. So a huge storm is coming from North Vietnam. It was raining every day, really heavily. So I'm a bit worried about it. I, I don't want to get too wet because it makes walking for several hours very difficult when all the clothes and the shoes are wet. So we'll see. And I'm a little bit worried about the fog on top um, during such weather. The whole, all the clouds and all the fog is on top, so we won't have a good view for the video. However, if you are lucky, the clouds will be under the peak. So this is something that I always wanted to see when I'm on the peak and the clouds are under me and I can look on top of, of the clouds. So we'll see. I'm, I feel great. So it will be a really nice day. Let's enjoy it. I thought I'm the only one who's so crazy and is awake at four o'clock. But to my surprise, the beach is filled. There are people working out. Uh, people are swimming, running at the beach. There are even some people praying to the, towards Lin Ung, Lady Buddha, in Sancha. So here we don't see it really. I can't zoom that well. Um, okay, I can zoom, but the quality is awful. So here is Lady Buddha. We will see it later. And yeah, there is Sancha. It's still dark. There you can see the weight. Upwards to Sancha, there is the radar station. So, and ah, can you see it? Yeah, there, there are the peaks. So we walked already almost one hour and the sky is getting red, so we will have a really nice sunrise later. Wow, look how beautiful that is. The whole sky is, is red, or at least the part at the horizon. Wow, so beautiful. No surprise that all the people are waking up so early and enjoying the crowd to see the sunrise. Awesome. Wow, what a sunrise. The whole sky is red and wow, it's just awesome. Sencha mountain, we are just right in front of it, but everything is Sencha Peninsula and over there is Linung Pagoda and here we are at the Sencha Fisher Harbor. The fishermen come with their big boats and with their fish that they caught in the night. They come with their small round boats to the beach and sell it to the vendors who sell it directly to the customer here at the market or to restaurants.
We arrived at our first destination, the camping ground of Sancha. And here you have an awesome view. I mean, look at this. The lake, the sea, Danang in the background, and here far in the in the background you can see on the on the hill um, some buildings of Bana Hill and it's so peaceful here. Nobody's here, only nature, the forest, lake, sea, hills. Wow. We arrived at Lin Ung Pagoda, Lin Ung Lady Buddha. But despite her beauty we'll have to give her a pass today because we don't have the time to visit her. But eventually I will make a video just for Lin Ung. We arrived at our next destination, the Monkey Pass. And it's a popular place for couples to take a picnic here in the green grass. And the reason why it's so popular, especially for taking photos, is because you can see the whole cliff here and the hills in the background. So here it is. Wow, what a view. And especially here the polarizing sunglasses are very beneficial because in the background usually when I look in the distance I see it um, a little bit blue, a little bit gray even, but with the polarizing sunglasses I see this lush green and can enjoy the nature even a little bit more. It's a great place here. Google Maps said here is some kind of photo opportunity or something special, but I look here at everything, I cannot find it. I think it's wrong on Google Maps, so yeah, don't come here. And here I'm finally at the far northeast side of Sancha. I arrived at the light tower over there. It's really a beautiful light tower. Uh, I was already in front of it, wanted to take a photo, but somebody came and said, if I want to take a photo, it's 20,000 dong. Photo around and video uh, uh -huh. one one dollar. And I know it's free for Vietnamese, so I went away and take this video from the distance, but it's really worth it to go there, so don't miss it. We arrived in the east at the Banyan ficus tree. In Germany the ficus trees get up to 20 centimeters, but here the ficus tree, the 800 year old ficus tree, is about 22 meters high. So it's huge, but what's very special are the additional roots. For example, let's look at this tree. It looks like a second tree that is just near the main banyan tree, but when you look at the air, you see it's connected. So this is actually only a root from the main tree. And if you look further there, those roots can be very small, very thin, or they can be just as huge as other trees, like here on the right side. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's a very popular 
place for Sancha and it's a perfect place to recover because here it's much cooler under the foliage and you have a wind and yeah really a great place to recover there you can buy cold water half liter for 10,000 dong I'm lying now at the banyan tree on a bench and relax and enjoy this beautiful view with this great tree and yeah as you can as you might see on my face already I <laughs> I feel already very exhausted I walked 40,000 steps and um, here I walk, it's 12 o'clock so I walked I think I started at four, so eight hours I'm already walking. And here in the east, there's another hill, 400 meters. So I went it up, down, and then back up, down again. So I really don't know if I if I can do it. If I can go to the main part, to the most important part, to the top, I really want to do it. But it's important to <laughs> to to make wise decisions. If I'm too exhausted, I cannot do it because it's dangerous, as I said yesterday. So I will relax here in half hour, drink some cold water, and then I will see how I will feel. I really want to do it, but I worry it's too extreme. Home. Hill. Home. Hill. Home. Look at this green. Wow, it's so lush, everything. I don't know if you can see it with my glasses. I think there is too much a reflection. But it's just awesome. Wow. There it is, Sancha Mountain, the Monkey Mountain. It looks gigantic and it's such a long way until then. But I think I can do it. The only problem is it was very sunny so far, extremely sunny, but now there are clouds coming up. It's getting windy, so I'm worried that it will rain in, in one or two hours. Oh, wow. It's so steep. It only goes up and up and up and up and no end in sight. These are the moments when I'm wondering, why am I doing this? Why, why, why? And there it is, finally, our main destination. <coughs> and there we are, finally, at the peak. This is the highest hill, it's about 20 meters higher. But it doesn't matter. I think it's private. It's not possible to go there. So this is the highest official hill for the public, for tourists. Confucius is playing chess over there. And here yeah, a lot of tourists. Vietnamese tourists from other parts from of Vietnam. And here it is Da Nang, our city. Everything is so tiny. Even Banner Hills over there is so tiny. And the radar stations over there are also so low. It's really high, 600, I think 630 meters. And it looks awesome. It's beautiful during the day. Now the evening is approaching. It's much darker, but still it's nice. I would love to take a photo here in the night with all the lights. But then I would have to come with a motorbike or a taxi. Okay. Of course, on a camera, it doesn't convey how great it is. So you have to come here and see it for yourself. It's totally worth it. Okay, I have to go back now. Sunset is in about two hours. And I will go over the radar stations. It's not super far, but it's still, again, up, down, up, down. So it's not that easy. I will have to hurry. So I'm at sunset in the city. 
over there in the city and then I will go home over there, okay? Here is another viewpoint. From here we can see the high van pass, the direction towards Hoe. That is the Danang view I was talking about. As you noticed, it's already night, it's super dark. The street here is also dark, I barely see anything, most lamps are broken. But uh, it doesn't matter, I have this great view, I see Danang at night from Sancha. It's really a wonderful finish for this beautiful day. I arrived home. Unbelievable. Oh wow. I feel like I want to cry out of happiness, out of pain, out of all emotions. I just checked. It's um, 10 o'clock. So I walked 6, 16, 18. So 18 hours was the whole journey. And I had about two hours breaks. So 16 hours of walking time. <laughs> Oh wow, that's my absolute record, especially the steps. I walked 80,000 steps and my record, my previous record was 60,000, now 80,000. And with the hill going up, down, up, down, it was especially hard. But I have to admit, I was today I was extremely lucky with the weather. It was not too sunny and there was no rain. Even at the end, we had this great view from the top without clouds, so... I consider myself lucky and, and I'm happy that I've done it and now I want to die. <laughs> okay, I will take a shower and then I will get my best, the best sleep of my life. Like, subscribe, comment. Goodbye.